What's going on, y'all? What's going on? So, I've been seeing all this, you know, back and forth, you know, a little bit. <clears throat> Ain't been able to watch it, like, thoroughly, but watch it enough to kind of get the picture of where certain people trying to come from. So, this, this, this peace thing. Now, I understand a lot of this is going to be for the internet and, you know, they suppose have strategic purposes around it, but there's certain things that you just can't put out there for strategic purposes. You know, you, you got to be real about it, you know, because, you know, whatever you pushing, and especially if you have an influence, you know, there's probably potentially there's going to be people that follow potentially now in regards to the whole movement. I got my thoughts about that, and maybe I'll share it in this video. But I wanted to see a little bit about what Nina Boy was talking about, to you know, and we'll kind of just build off there. So let's get straight into this. We ain't gonna do the whole thing, but we're gonna do enough to get a feel for what he's talking about. <laughs> this shit be nigga boy. And nigga, three. be real to yourself before you real with anybody else. <laughs> Big Nina boy, but he's five three. <laughs> Gang, what's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal, man? It's y'all favorite hood upon the big Nina boy, right? Um, so uh I got them hot. I got them holding their stomach like bought up homework. You understand me? <laughs> Wait a minute, job turkey. <laughs> so listen, man. Um put your homework in your stomach. Recently, I I I made some uh -huh. some some well, I stated my opinion about my dog know, what's going home, on bro. on on the streets about you know making peace, man. And I told everybody respectfully, humbly, I mean no disrespect. And out of thin air, everybody... Hey, Nina, it, it wasn't that they took it a disrespect. They just seen you... Um, let's just be honest. They just seen you as somebody that's soft. <clears throat> and uh, if you was anybody else that, uh, you know, might have given more resistance... They probably wouldn't have made that video towards you, or if they did, they would have been so humble about it. But because you are who you are and you did what you did, and you have the stature that you have, they chose to pick on you. Now, like I said, it has YouTube purposes behind it, but a lot of that has to do also with just who you are, unfortunately. Body bypass that, like, wait a minute, if you if, if, if if you're not part of the solution, you part of the problem. So I'm sitting back and I'm watching people, you know, have their opinions about me. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I've grown to become a realist. I've grown to man, y'all tap that like button for me, man. Care less of what somebody say about me, right? But one thing I'm I'm gonna set the record straight on. Okay. Um, I you know, I don't really watch these dudes' content, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, you do. Some people that Stop might want to be petty or messy might send, you know, a snippet of somebody's stuff my way, man. Um, I'm not going to allow nobody to speak on my cribbing, man. You feel me? Based off the fact. Um, oh, man. If you, you know, if we if we talking about cribbing, hey, man, uh, I seen some of the stuff that you done did and some of the things that these people said about you in regards to the crib element of it. Yeah, man, your response definitely uh it shouldn't be the way that it is now. You definitely should be pushing some lines if you're talking about from a crip uh aspect of it though. But like I said, this one foot in, one foot out, man, it just ain't it. Pick a side, you know. 
See, see, one thing's for sure that I can see, especially since I've seen that one video that he did with that net. Uh, uh, Nina Boy got an identity crisis right now. He's going through an identity crisis right now. You know, it, it, it's, uh, you know, his whole life he tried to fit in and be accepted because, you know, shit, he been a midget pretty much his whole life. So he been trying to be accepted and, you know, and, and being a participant of uh, EC was trying to find his own way. I think his 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 bro was supposed to be some dime or something like that, but his bro had his he had his own way, and he had to try to find it in his own way. So he wanted to be from the set to try to find acceptance. Uh, but then he seen how the set did him, and, and, and you know probably how the set treated him. You know, regardless, like he may got some good friends from the set. He may know good friends from other sets. You know, you know a lot of people may know him though. But when it come down to to, to the cripping part of it, uh, the I don't think he get the respect that he thinks he deserved and that he thinks he's worth in regards to that element. Just to make a long story short without saying too much, but uh, I think he's still trying to because you know when 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 he says something as as being a grown man talking about I have heart, you know like as a man. And I think he said he's 40 or something. Like, as a 40-year-old man, you're supposed to have heart. Like, that's not, like, something that you get credit for. That's something that you're supposed to have. And when it comes down to a, a, a individual being a coward, the world, your community, your people looks down on a coward. You know, so that's automatic. You know, we when you consider yourself a man, we expect for you to be brave to be courageous and face your fears and do extraordinary things and, and, and be a leader, you know, we expect that. So like when he, so when he talks about having heart, that just tells me that he's still in the mindset of trying to prove himself. And so now he's trying to find his own lane and he's doing things and he kind of, kind of figures some things out and he kind of, you know, try to catch some tracks and now he's trying to find his own lane. But then now he's facing backlash of him trying to find his own lane, kind of going against the lane that he once participated in. Because regardless of what people say, what he doing, that it doesn't make sense, especially for somebody to be from where you're from. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. You know, but he doing it. And, uh, and like I said, being one foot, one out. And he finally see like one thing's for sure. I, I I tell y'all all the time. There's a whole lot of fake people, fake people on his internet too, picking and choosing on his internet too. You know they'll call you your homie uh, off the rip as, if it's beneficial or something. Too, but then as soon as something go left, or as soon as it, you know, cause a lot of them they can't stand on their own. So if they see if they see it going one way, they gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna get with the movement too because they don't know how to stand alone. You know, and so you can look at Nina Boy. Shit, he kind of feeling the pressure of what it is to stand alone. But at the same time, man, hey, if you're going to carve out and try to find yourself, you need to be able to stand alone. You know, Nina Boy, stand alone. But yeah, I think, I think, but you know, without, because I can go ahead and talk about it for like two hours though. But to be honest with you, to make a long story short, you know, and doing my best from what I've seen. In regards to him and how he's conducting himself and how he used to conduct himself, he hasn't. He's going through an identity crisis, you know. And uh, another thing, I seen a clip with your boy Spider Rule speaking about you in this situation. Hey, homie, that ain't your friend. You know, see, Spider Rule was going with it and telling you to my. I advise you to 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 not have take the stance that you're taking because. The reason why he's doing that, and he's not gonna speak out and come to defend because they already done spoke about him. He don't want to take. He don't want to go ahead and, and, and deal with the music that 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 comes with uh, being out there and and, and being on front. He don't want to deal with that no more. He wanted because you know he already done went out, so he ain't trying to deal with that music. And hey, he gonna just try to go ahead and stick it between like uh. So so basically, how he pretty much presented his case in regards to Ray Barrows was. Hey, look, need him boy, my boy. Uh, but I'm also trying to go ahead and not uh, make anybody else angry. If need boy, your boy, 
then it is what it is. See, quite frankly, I'm going to be honest with you in regards to this peace thing. It's cool if you can accomplish it. But in our reality, the work that it takes to accomplish it, these people ain't going to do it. And I believe I've seen something talking about, he said something about a fake peace. I agree with that as well. You know, it sounds good. You know how many times, like how long is, is black people going to be like, oh, we got to be together. We got to do this. We should get peace. We got to stop. How long is it going to take for people to say that and then they don't do nothing about it? Now, all of a sudden, there's some movement going on on YouTube and now they want to be a part of it. This is going to go ahead and be out the window very soon. There may be some people out there that really, really want it. But the cool thing about it is there's going to be people that don't want it and there's going to be people that don't do nothing about it. And then you're going to be in a minority. But then do you have do you have what it takes to go ahead and even when the first trial don't work and the second trial don't work, you go. But but this is my thing, though. How can you niggas be sitting over there talking about all this peace stuff? But when it comes down to when you're talking about somebody else, right now, you sitting over there talking about your accolades. Now you talking about oh he ain't really from the set and yada da da da. What does that what what does that matter if if you're gonna go ahead and accomplish peace? Why does any of that stuff what somebody has did didn't do or why does that matter? When the whole focus, when the whole focus is to accomplish peace. If you were some hellified nigga, why you can't go ahead and be on front street and go ahead and and get this thing together and for people to respect you and get it together? If you were some hellified nigga that want peace. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought so. You know? So how could you be quick to go ahead and talk about somebody else about what they ain't did or 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 or, or whatever the case may be, but you ain't doing nothing but just running your mouth on YouTube about it. You know, if it was really if you if, 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 if peace is what you really wanted to accomplish, then what's stopping you? Ah, oh, because you understand it is deeper than that. Oh, some of y'all really don't want it. It just sound good for the views. So I believe I heard Nina Boy said that on a clip, and I agree with that. I do. I agree with that. I do. You want peace, you won't change, but you ain't gonna do, but you ain't even gonna do it within the most important person, which is within yourself. How are you gonna sit over there and want to change? You know, and, and, and invoke and invoke change in something else and somebody else, and you ain't even changed your damn self. It ain't even gonna be believable because you try to push something, but then you're gonna revert back to your old nature. So that tells me that you haven't even changed. So how could you push something for to change and you ain't even did the work that you need to do to change within your damn self? That doesn't make no sense. That's like sitting over there, you got this woman, you telling her that hey, she need to work out. But here you come, you don't work out. You just sitting on your tail. Uh, you just sitting on your tail all day, eating all kind of pork chops and Lay's potato chips, hot Cheetos, and all that stuff. But you telling her she need to eat healthy and work out, but you don't do it. But you ain't setting the tone. Which one y'all gonna set the tone? I don't even think a lot of people is capable of even setting the tone. I think it's just talk too. You know, it, it, if it happens, cool. You know, never say never. But let's be honest with you, right? Is it going to happen? Mm, probably not. <laughs> so come on, man. You no. Know, them late nights, you know what I'm saying, all that, that that active, you know what I'm saying, program I got involved in, homie. Ain't nobody on this internet going to take that. And that's not even something to be proud of. You see what I'm saying? As a, as a young black man, I have made mistakes of taking those field trips just like any one of them old school dudes that get on here and promote, you know, they shenanigans. Because at the end of the day, Why man, do people talk about this? About you taking these field trips? and Man, that's supposed to be left in the past. That's supposed to be left when you did your work. You know, I, I hear a lot of people talking about, oh, I didn't bang for the fame. Well, if you ain't bang for the fame, why you got to go ahead and do all this talking on the internet about what kind of accolades and what you done did? Like, somebody care. Like, you ain't talking to the homies like that. You talking to strangers that don't know you. You're trying to prove to strangers about it. And I'm not just talking about Nina, boy. I'm just talking about everybody in general who says this. Oh, check my resume. What does your resume matter? Because there's a whole bunch of, there's, a, there's somebody that ain't got no resume that appeal your cap with that 4-5. 
there's somebody with no resume that'll put them hands on you. So then what you going to do? Tell them to check your resume? <laughs> they going to check your resume six feet under? They going to check your resume when you lay flat on that concrete? So we're going to check your resume then too, right? <laughs> and I, I, I said this, right? I think my message got across the wrong way. Man, it don't my matter. Intended it don't matter. They took it the way that they wanted to took it because they don't respect you. So no matter what you try to do to try to explain yourself, it ain't going to matter because somebody going to try to find a flaw in what you said, either for content or because they're trying to go ahead and bully you. Let's be real. Message was to not put it on the internet because if it backfired, right? If y'all promoted, hey, everybody, ain't everybody, nothing backfired. If you benefiting from this, it ain't backfire because that's what you're doing it for anyway, right? For the internet, right? So it didn't backfire. Your name and your name in the system, so it didn't backfire. Well, because you might have rubbed somebody now. Well, people at the end of the day, you should want this because now you get to see how these people really feel about you. Instead of sitting over there and backstabbing, instead of being fake, now you get to see how they really feel about you. Now you get to see who you who who really your homies that you keep trying to talk about as your homie. I have to do this this peaceful treaty nobody's gonna be killing nobody with the crips all right you're sure that's the police activity that was police activity to me why is because if you show the police your plans they're going to conquer and divide they need us to hurt each other they hmm. yeah i was just talking to somebody the uh, other day i'm like man if your efforts was really working and and they and they fear your effort i ain't gonna i ain't gonna tell y'all know where i wanted to get at but i ain't gonna say it on here but you know where i was gonna get at though <laughs> you know y'all know so uh yeah we ain't gonna say but you know you already know because we have plenty of examples in history to go ahead and prove that and i just leave it at that you want us to still take each other lives i verbatimly said this is genocide you know what i'm saying and, and what we're doing is wrong but y'all didn't want to hear that. Y'all didn't want to hear me speaking the same language y'all was speaking. Y'all just wanted somebody to take y'all side. Listen, homie, I know y'all promoting fake peace because why would you put something like that, some so sensitive on the internet? And, 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 and far as y'all old school dudes talking about, uh, yeah, like, I mean, I ain't seen no videos on them, but I heard some talk about YG or the game was supposed to be like, hold up, y'all been saying so like. For so long that these are supposed to be some fake members or whatever the case, they just rappers, but all of a sudden they supposed to be ahead of some peace. They ain't never been a part of what? What they gonna have peace? They've been having peace their whole life. <laughs> you know, it it is, it's fake. It's just it, it's it's just a play, like what a lot of these people do. It's just a play. You know, like at the end of the day, right? If somebody gonna push something, right, you're gonna look at it, right? Like. Is you gonna buy? Is you gonna go ahead and have somebody try to facilitate for you to go ahead and facilitate your purchase on a home, or is you gonna talk to a realtor? Hmm. If somebody's training your kid, is you, is is you gonna allow some Ricky to train you, or would you like for somebody who done played the game to train you? If somebody that's telling you about relationships, right, is you gonna want to listen to somebody that has a lot of experience? So. I say this to say this, if somebody going to talk to you about change and peace, how can I listen to somebody who hasn't changed their damn self? How can I listen to people who still talking about the set, but talking about they won't change for their people and how uh, and, and, and how this gang stuff ain't, 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 ain't nothing but bad. But then when they get to talk about themselves, they got the, they got they got to continue to prove themselves. They got to continue to speak on it like, oh, my God. But uh, yeah, man, my accolades like no nobody care about your accolades. Ain't nobody care about your accolades. Who cares? They wear off anyway. There's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of people who was about their life that is no longer here. You don't even talk about them no more. But we supposed to care about your accolades. 
How much money did your accolades make you? Where did your accolades take you? And if you were so-called active, what is you doing up on here anyway? Talking is talk the way you're talking now. I'm just saying, we got to put things together. Uh, uh, I ain't never been a dropout, never will. A lot of y'all talk about the little phase I had in my hood. I went and took those issues. That's regular. You see what I'm saying? And if you ain't never had no issues in your hood, you probably didn't squabble. You probably didn't stand on nothing. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and ain't nobody go talk to me, homie. I don't know. Some of y'all got me too. all the way twisted, bro. It's it's Koji, though, because clearly I'm going to let you know today. I'm let not somebody know. you can talk to, bro. Okay. We'll let them know then. Oh, Big D. D Big DD? I, I'm a very arrogant person. Okay. And, and, and my thing is this. If I said something that hurt your feelings, then that's on you. Y'all acting like you. Why you care? Why you care what I say? You see what I'm saying? Obviously. Man, say what you really wanted to say. Because I, I wouldn't be so kind. If I was mean a boy. I wouldn't be so kind the way he is right now unless he just trying to get that green dollar sign on. <laughs> Sometimes I sacrifice the green dollar sign and let y'all know something, boy. You know what I'm saying? I penetrated some on some of y'all hearts where y'all want to voice y'all opinion. That's cool. But let me tell y'all something. Y'all fake putting it out there like y'all genuinely mean y'all doing this for free. Y'all monetizing. Let, let me tell y'all something. And let right. me tell my audience something. If these dudes were so sincere about what they was trying to do, they will not be monetizing on the internet trying to get some money. They trying to tell y'all, oh, look, we trying to change this. We trying to change that. This is what we doing. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Oh, God. I told y'all from the jump. I mean, no disrespect to anybody. But since y'all want to send shots at Nina Boy and all that, all right, let's go. I'm going to play ball like the next person. Okay, I'm not taking up. no disrespect for nobody. And a lot of you dudes that got something to say about you, none of y'all ain't talking to 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 to, to my troopers on from my block because it's not a single person on this earth who can say Nina Boy didn't take those field trips. Y'all not go demolish my cripping because I don't get along with what y'all say. That's you and this field trip stuff, man. Uh, <laughs> you and this field trip stuff. Like, why are you trying to prove to these niggas, man? If it's up, then it's shot. What you trying to prove for? If it's up, then it's shot. And you know, so what? If somebody said they gonna say what they gonna say. Like I always, like I always tell people. They like, oh, they said, okay, what they gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do about it? What they say, do it then, boy. <laughs> do it then, boy. <laughs> what you gonna do? Oh, you just gonna talk? Oh, okay. Oh, you're not gonna get active. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So you're just gonna talk. Oh, all right, all right. It's my opinion. Accept it or reject it. Because ain't nobody gonna check Bro, that. Regardless I'm if they accept it nor reject it, it don't matter because you said what you said. You didn't say it directly toward them, you said it to, to the people whoever listening, whoever watching. Hey, if they're gonna take look, niggas is gonna disagree with you regardless. You know. People are gonna disagree with you. People are gonna agree with you. It don't matter. People are gonna there's gonna be some people that care about your success, and there's gonna be a lot of people who don't care nothing about you. So what? If it ain't impacting your pockets, if it ain't impacting you personally, so what? Now I know why you doing this right now. You gotta you feel like you gotta respond, and you doing this to, for your pockets too. So if you gonna call them out, Nina Boy, then you guys go ahead. You feel me and. Acknowledge that you're doing it for the internet too. You know, just like you said over there, had that Detroit dude talking about uh oh uh, uh Eric Holder. I, I I ain't get that though. I ain't get that, you know. But either way, you're gonna do what you're gonna do for the game, right? Because y'all don't really care about these politics anyway, right? Because it's all for the game, right? Because if you did, you would be keeping this on the hush. It would it'll just be for your community. But we, it, this thing took it to the internet, right? It don't matter right now. This ain't for the game. This, this ain't for the game. This for the game. Not for the game, for the game. And that's fine. But don't sit over there. You can't call nobody else out. And I'm not talking about Nina Boy right now, but you can't call nobody else out if you're doing it for the game and not for the game. 
Because anybody that's doing anything for the love of their heart and not doing it for any gain, if they're doing it for self or to benefit others, it's definitely not going to be it. Just like I don't get like when people want to go ahead and show they self uh, give it to the homeless. Like for what? What if the homeless person didn't want to be on camera? Why, why, why are we doing this? If you, why you got to put your kind act on camera? For what? To let people know what you... So what? If they know or not, you know what you're doing it. You know? Like, 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 I don't get stuff like that. Not, and, and I don't get when these when these dudes be up on here talking about they play ball and they got these accolades and they ain't did... For, okay, so where, where is that going to get you? It didn't get you nothing. It didn't get you nothing. They talk about the pain, the pain that you said, bro. Well, that's pain self-inflicted. It's a choice. You could have left, but you didn't. So don't cry about it. Don't cry about it when others is being affected. Abide. Don't cry about it when your kids is affected. Because if you didn't want your kids to go down that path, you would have did some self-changing. But you didn't. So don't cry about it. That's your reality. I'm not the hardest trip at all, but I ain't no buster by a long shot. You can bet that. And a lot of y'all know, oh, Nina Boy got a big channel. He do big numbers. So let me try to talk to that. I'm not no youngster. You understand what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm 30 now. You see what I'm saying? I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do something different with <laughs> Nina Boy's, I'm a big kid now. <laughs> no, like, that's cool. Can't nobody knock a, a grown man for trying to do good for his life. You see what I'm saying? Just like y'all, y'all trying to, y'all same dudes talk about, oh, you on the internet. You on the internet too. Don't My lie. problem is this though, man. Um, I thought y'all, I, I think y'all kind of got me twisted, homie. I think y'all think I'm somebody that's going to sit back and say, uh, uh, y'all right. I was wrong. I ain't never going to say that. You know why? On because head. listen, they're still killing in the streets. Did somebody Just a couple of days ago. He was a savage. Like what the horse in the carriage. <laughs> they said you need me for the views. <laughs> so some people got knocked down. I got the phone call. Yep, they still knocking. Woo -woo. Hey, it was whoop de whoop. Just got knocked down. But y'all get in on the internet telling the world, hey, we're stopping it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. video of a Damu jumped in in his car and chased down a dude from Grave Street. I mean, he filmed the whole, whole get down. He chased that boy. So you, even if we do the, the, the and, and let me just say this sidebar. Talking about, uh, uh, you can't come to no peace treaty. You're not. And it's a whole bunch of passive loking going on. Whole bunch of passes being given. Whole bunch of rules not being enforced. This thing is over with. This is watered down. It's over with. I don't know why you. I don't know why you people sit over here. Look, man. I don't even know why you people still try to go ahead and, and hold anybody else to the standard, or even you know, like it's over. So for what? They're not gonna follow it. So what? You gonna be the only one that follow it? But then you can look at some of the things you might have did and. Might have had some questionable things that you might have did, right? So you can look at oneself and be like, well, shit, yeah, well, this one time, how can I talk about him? And I'm doing this at the end of the day, right? You need to be trying to better in yourself. You need to be trying to better your families. And if you got some, if you got loved ones or you got people, you understand me, the youth or whatever, you need to be trying to impact them and get them to get them this game. Anybody who's trying to listen and who's hungry for this game, you need to be trying to go ahead and give them this game and help them and, 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 and better them. That 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 you need y'all need to give because a lot of y'all got a whole lot of uh, uh, of knowledge to go ahead and give, but you don't give it because you folk because you uh, uh, focused on ignorance. You gotta grow up, man. You gotta grow up sooner or later. Can't nobody do it for you. You gotta do it yourself. You gotta look. You gotta look within self. You gotta self reflect, homie. Ain't nobody gonna get. Ain't nobody ever got you nothing. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta take the lessons that you have learned. You gotta take the good with the bad. In this, in the, in the lifestyle, you gotta take the good 
with the bad. And when you look at the good, how much good is there really? You know? You might have then developed some, some solid relationships, maybe. You know? But a lot of the times, y'all talking about y'all fighting homies. Y'all catching fades with the homies. I don't, for the life of me, I don't ever get it. I've never caught that one fade with my true homie. I've never. I've, I don't know about, I don't see, I don't know what a, a true friend is. I've never, I've never had a, like, we might have threw down in the gloves to get each other right or something like that, hands right, but it wasn't off of, of a disagreement. And I've got into many disagree with my homies, but it never, ever went down to a fade because we had a respect. See, a lot of, a lot, a lot of them don't know, don't know nothing about respect. You know? If this is your homie, man, this is your homie. Evidently, he ain't your homie like that. You know, y'all just be inviting people in your houses and just be inviting people in your circle, in your space. You ain't even properly go ahead and see what this individual is about. Like, if I, like, 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 that's another video for another time. But y'all get the picture, man. Um, Nina Boy, man. This is what it is. You just getting picked on again. I remember when you got picked on by Anthony Titberry. You know, uh, it's it's just another one of them times. Now you getting picked on by your own people. You know, it just is what it is. So until you stand up for yourself and fight back, you feel me? This ain't gonna be the last time. But y'all get the picture, man. Till the next time, y'all. We gone.